Disclaimer, not a pro at decaying winter. Welcome to another perk guide agent. This time, we're reviewing the Arbiter, a frontliner that has a lot of versatility with burst damage, mobility, and more. A personal favorite of mine, we'll be going over its pros and cons, ability, good equipment and traits to use, and some tips of being a more efficient agent with this perk. Let's begin. First off, our positives and negatives. Starting with the good side, we start with increased melee damage, giving us that edge in fights, especially for follow-ups. Next, we have Pure Immunity Cripple, which is basically the little icon that looks like somebody broke their leg while running from the cops. Very handy to know. And finally, increased HP of 30, maxing out at 130 HP. However, we do have downsides with this perk, those being a dramatic decrease in our reloading time, which is very obvious when you start reloading, as well as how we reduce hit fire accuracy, making us a bit harder to use in this perk, but it's not completely useless. As for active ability, we have what is called the Knuckle Boom, a wrist mounted blaster attached to your wrist. When normally pressing F, you fire out a close range blast, stunning any scout unfortunate enough to be in it, dealing a moderate amount of damage, roughly about maybe a third, but you will have to follow up with the shove and some other attacks, since the amount of time it takes to be done with the animation and to get the hit, off, the hit off, they're done being stunned. However, there is a second mode to our knuckle boom. If you can time it just right, 4 frames before the shot fires off, pressing F again will initiate a very longer range attack, not too far but very significant, and it deals a large amount of damage and also stuns them putting nearly every scab to death's door, maybe minus the crowbar, armored, and some more. However, this attack will hurt you compared to the other one, so keep this in mind when you're using your close-up. As a further note, using both versions of this ability at an angle does cause you to have knockback. Head level causes no knockback though. For our traits, this is really depending on you. But if you want a fair roundup of traits, impatient, dependable, and methodical suits just perfectly. Getting more movement speed is always nice, receiving less damage keeps you alive longer, allows you to do that HP benefit even more. Methodical further increases your damage, will almost make you do big damage with tier 2, with satiated hunger and burst thirst bars, and outright kills at tier 3. Even being thirsty and hungry, you still do about 60-ish damage with a tier 3 and obviously more with a tier 4. In terms of our equipment, again, this is a personal choice on you, as your kit and traits are already just looking great. As I mainly would usually would say, oh, ballistic dagger for the shove damage and everything, I personally think the throwing daggers rounds out your kit to do a lot more things at once and you'll definitely see why. Hey. I know this is a lot for you, but I do have some tips to maximize the effectiveness of the Knuckle Boom and Arbiter as a whole. Let's talk about that knockback for a minute, as this can be a huge tool to your arsenal. As stated before, when you normally fire it off at an angle, you will be launched at that certain angle due to that knockback. Do you see what I'm putting down though? Many other perks have to jump and mantle, climb, or just whatever to reach bigger heights. You don't have to though. You have that advantage of launching yourself up to those arrows with ease, and you only have to press one button, F. Additionally, this ability can be used to cease your fall and negate any fall damage. However, do note that when you angle yourself, you have to do it right, as the improper angle will lead you to launch yourself way up in the air and eventually pull it back down and take fall damage. Now when you start to learn this, please don't get discouraged if you take some fall damage from your first few attempts. You'll learn the best approaches to mitigate everything if taken the time. And I know you can do that. Moving on from that, let's go over to the alternate fire and why we chose those throwing knives. During any phase, whether it be looting or survival, aiming this at your target will basically put this at no health, like stated before. Throwing one of these daggers afterwards guarantees that death. This is very handy for your team, and you can get four of them. Prioritizing gun scabs makes it even more useful since an AK can take a blow of the alt fire and the knife and then die. Even more of a crutch 
is during a wave night and your team is down and you're stuck at four morale with some throwing daggers all you need to do is alt fire aim at the the hit enemies to kill them or slot them with a melee they'll just die anyways if you want to craft any special weapon though usually a decimator or an arson hook can just to do the job just fine since the executioner is slow with the heavy and arbiter already pumps out huge damage anyways but if you want to craft an exe anyways i'm not stopping you you can do that as well as for guns though sure while you may have some negatives with guns it's only hip fire and reloading even with using basic pistols like the DVC Custom, it can just easily clean up any hurt scabs with your alt fire with just one or two bullets if needed. Despite your gun deficits, this brook really excels at burst damage output while also providing cleanup and startups for many other perks. There's a lot you can do, but keep in mind there's definitely some that you can't do. There's so much more to be said for this perk but I think it's also a sense of you need to learn on your own as well. You may be a frontline perk, but you're not invulnerable. Use your wits about you when using this perk as you can save your teammates or even yourself if you're smart enough. Otherwise, good luck Asian, and I hope you learn a thing or two.